Hello and welcome. A slightly impromptu visit here to our Facebook, our Facebook Live. I wanted to record a quick video to show everybody the content of our January class in a box. And I thought I might as well do it live on Facebook as record it on my own and then upload it to YouTube and then download it back to Facebook. So here I am. I'm not normally here on a Wednesday evening. So our class in the box for January features the Greatest Journey products. It does have a stamp set and a set of dies that go with it. You don't have to have the stamp set or the dies to take my class in a box. But if you purchase those, it does mean that you can go on and carry on making more cards. You will also have a series of paper. So the way that my class in a box works is that I send out the box and that includes the papers you need, the all of the card stock you need, the die cuts ready in preparation and any other accessories for the kit. What you will need to do then is supply your own adhesive. You will require a paper trimmer or a scorer to create the card bases because I ship these typically as A4 sheets to give you the maximum flexibility. You don't have to use all of the cardstock that I provide and you will have more papers left over than you need for the class itself. You can take it in person as well. I do a class at Evenly near me in Brackley and that is available for £27 and the class in a box delivered with all of the content plus printed dimensionals sheet and access to the all of the online tutorials. So for each card I do a pre-recorded video that shows you how that card was created so you have access to that and I also have an optional online Zoom class that you can take part in whether you've taken our class in a box or our class in person you can do both of that both of those I should say I also have an online only option so no product included for anybody around the oh, basically around the world um, but there's no product included for that so it's just access to the online tutorials and also the online class so I'm just going to flip through the products that are included I haven't got them all out um, just want to show you the main things and then I'll show you the cards so very quickly you will have um, six sheets of this paper and in order to ship it sensibly to you I cut the paper at six inches so this is 12 by 12 sheets of paper and I cut this at six inches and it ships um, it ships well like that so what I do do is cut it to make most sense of the piece of paper so in this case um, because you you're getting both halves I would cut it across here so that you can you choose whether you've got landscape or portrait elements. So these are the papers. They're from a series called Enjoy the Journey or Greatest Journey. And you have this one here. We have this one with um, sea and clouds. This one with two sets of mountain ranges and the sun or the moon depending on what you want it to be in the background have these ones here with the mountain ranges and then again we have this one but with pinks and oranges to indicate sunset sunrise and then we have this one here which has got a green pattern which to me looks like trees I'm sure it could be other things but it looks like trees to me so that is one side so you get all of that and I'll just show you quickly the other side this is just a series of um, smaller patterns we have that one we have a little bit of 
Mango Melody. And I know the colours aren't necessarily true to form because I'm recording this, although I have daylight lamps, I am recording this at night under um, lit conditions. We have this one with stars, this one with chevrons, and then finally one with a little block print. So those are the papers, so you'll get all of those in your pack. These are some, but not all, of the dies that you can purchase separately. And it's up to you whether you put these characters on any of your cards. If you don't want to, you don't have to. So you will have some of the tents, you'll have some clouds. We've got a little moon here. Uh, we've got three figures, a cyclist, um, a walker with a lamp, but you can cut the lamp off if you wish, uh, or a hiker. And then we've got a runner. And then this is a die that cuts the mountains. So you'll get a whole series of um, mountains that you can use. And then we've also got this little one here that could be a bush or a tree. Let me show you the cards themselves. So there are seven card designs and you can do all of the seven. You will have enough for two each of these or you could um, obviously miss one or two and do your own thing or you could do your own thing all together. So we've got this one here with the runners and I will include the negative of this so that you can use it as a stencil. So these are just literally laid onto the papers and layered up. So we have this one. We have this one here. So there's one of those mountain pieces and the walker. The sentiment from this one and the previous one actually comes from the Greatest Journey set. We've got this one with the skyline on the mountain and the cyclist. We then have two that I will include these dies and these come from the Grove dies and I just wanted to make it look like a scene without having the um, characters on there. So I've actually cut around the mountains here and then turned the paper around to use that background. We have this one here with the sunset scene. And then this one, I wanted to make it look like um, either a festival or a very busy campsite. So you will get these um, background tents here uh, in various different papers. I can't guarantee which papers you'll get. I'll just cut multiples in different papers for you. And then finally, this one here uses one of those mountain scenes. I have added the stamped sun but I will include some circles that you can just pop on. And then this again is one of those mountains, the tent and some of the little um, dies. So those are the main products. You will also get some enamel stickers and plenty of spare card and envelopes. You'll get these clouds as well. So you can um, put together as many um, cards as you wish so the um, papers themselves will make typically six cards for each sheet of paper and you get six sheets so te technically you can make at least um, we well, can make 36 cards using the backgrounds um, but also you can go on and create your own backgrounds and things as well so that is our class. The booking is now open. I have, um, or I will send an email as soon as I've saved this video. I'll send us an email out to everybody on my email list. If you're not on my list and you're interested in getting hold of the information about my classes, then just drop me an email, jenny at geminicraft.co.uk or respond to the Facebook message. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.